Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello friends, how are you today? I'm fine too, thank you Oke, okay, welcome back to our channel Great for Gis Official With Miss Anis in Mathematics Lesson Oke okay, friends, before we start our lesson Let's pray, pray begin Amin I will share you about story Last Sunday, I went to the market I saw 22 baskets Each of basket consists by four mangoes How many mangoes all together? We can count by multiply 22 times by four The answer is Nice! The answer is 88 Okay, today I will explain how to multiplying a two digit number by a single digit number I have some methods how to solve this multiplication So, let's we start Today we are going to learn about multiplying a two digit number by a single digit number Please watch this video carefully. Now, I have a question for you to be solved, okay? When I have this equation, can you solve this? I have 26 times 4. Can you count it for me? So, what is the product from this equation? All right, I have some methods that we can use for multiplication first by repeated addition so because we know that 26 times 4 it's mean that you need to add 26 plus 26 plus 26 plus 26 as many as 4 times or maybe you can do like this You can see on my slide like a jump. It's jump plus 26. From 0 plus 26, it will be 26. And then another jump from 26 at 26 again, it will be increased. It will be 52. And then from 52, it's jump one again at 26 again. It will be increased to be 78. And last jump plus 26 again from 78 at 26, it become 104. So that is. The our result we can count 26 times 4 is 26 plus 26 plus 26 plus 26 as many as 4 times we can get the result is 104 Another method that you can do is by partitioning. We just do the partitioning at the first. As we know that 26 is consists by two digits number, two in tens and six in units. So we can calculate 26 times 4 is we can partition it first to be 20 plus Six. We can write this at the first, and then because it's multiply by four, we can write four in here. So and then we can calculate from the left. Twenty times four. We can just count two times four is eight. And then we can add one zero from twenty. So the answer twenty times four is 
एक थे प्लस सिक्स टाइम्स फोर इज ट्वेंटी फोर सो वी कैन एड ऑल टूगेदर एक थे प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर इज वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर This is the way multiplication by partitioning. The last is about multiplication by regrouping. 26 times 4 is we can write 26 at the first. As we know that 26 is 2 in tens and 6 in units. So we can put 4 as a unit in line under 6 we can multiply it we can start from the units digit units digit in here is 4 and 6 so we can calculate 4 times 6 4 times 6 is 24 24 have Two digits number we just need one digit number for the units of the product so we can just write 4 in here because 4 is units place and then we can take the 2 as the tens place right above 2 in tens column of the 26 like this and then we can calculate 4 times 2 4 times 2 is 8 it's not finished we can calculate 8 plus 2 the answer is 10 we can write 10 in 10's place. So the answer 26 times 4 is 104 by regrouping methods. Okay, I have the problem. Inda has 52 packets of bits. Each packet contains 5 bits. How many bits has Indah got? We can solve this question by multiplication. As we know that we have learned 3 methods for multiplication. So we can choose one method to solve this multiplication. 52 times 5 is I choose partitioning multiplication at the first as we know that 52 is consists by 50 in tens and 2 in units so we can write like this and then because it multiply by 5 we can write 5 in here and we can get the equation is 50 times 5 plus 2 times 5 so we can get calculate from the left 50 times 5 is we can calculate 5 times 5 is 25 and we can add 1 0 from 50 so we can get the answer is 250 plus 2 times 5 is 10 then we can add all together 250 plus 10 the answer is 260 so in the get 260 bits okay this is the exercise you can write this exercise on your exercise books and then 
you can answer and don't forget to submit your answer to your teacher class. You can choose one method to solve this exercise. Good luck! Okay, maybe it's in now for today. Don't forget to answer the question and submit your answer to your teacher class. Let's say alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, hirobil alamin. Thanks for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.